Hello. Hi. It's Friday. It's gorgeous out. Today is kind of a relaxed day because yesterday I mowed both the front and the backyard. We cleaned out the garage like completely. I did a bunch of gardening. I cleaned off the patio finally. I did pulled some weeds. That's I guess gardening. Um, I cleaned the inside of the house which is now a mess again of course because I have three kids. I watch children and I think that's pretty much. Oh and I worked out. So I'm pretty exhausted and I took a shower last night and I woke up this morning and was just like meh I'm not gonna get cute. There's no need. Nobody's gonna see me today who I really care about. And even those people who I care about don't care what I look like, so. Kai's still got a cold. She's just chilling on the ground, playing. And the kids are upstairs trying to get dressed. Kai is so sick that Sammy made an appearance again. If you're not familiar with Sammy, we used him over the winter when she had RSV. It's a nebulizer. Um, she needed to have some albuterol because she's been coughing like crazy. And the pediatrician said that anytime she gets sick, even if it's the middle of summer, with any type of cough, she needs to have um, be nebulized. So there's that. Oh look! May have the same due date, but one of them popped first. Did you guys hear that she named her their kid like North? I guess is what they I think is what they said in the magazine. I don't know. Ta da! Ta da! You look great. Um, I think that's funny. People think it's annoying. I mean, obviously it's annoying, but you know, I've, I've met people in real life who have more annoying kids' names, so whatever. I just think it's kind of funny that they're going to nickname her, her Nori, which is basically the name for edible seaweed. Anybody see an issue with that? She loves these Fisher-Price light-up toys. That's actually a play table right here, but I took off two of the legs so it's angled at her. I think that's what you're supposed to do, I'm not sure. And then those are these, like, stackable stars that her friend gave her. We love them. She loves them. She plays with them every day. Paying my bills. Can't pay my bills. Can't pay my telephone bills. Can't pay my automobiles. Think maybe, baby, we can pay. Do you guys remember back in the day, like when you would walk in on your parents, like in the kitchen or something, and they'd be sitting down paying the bills with checks and putting them in envelopes and licking stamps? I don't think I would have survived very long back then because I love the easy one click pay online or pay on my phone option. I can't do checks. There's like two bills that we pay every month that we have to write checks for and it kills me. Like I just hate writing the check. I hate sticking them in the envelope, putting a stamp on them, having to address them, get them out the door. Like I know it sounds like the most like obscure thing to hate, but I just, oh my gosh. I don't know how my parents did it back then. Of course, back then they didn't have as many bills as we do. Like, they didn't have a cell phone bill. They didn't have, you know, um, cable bills because we were poor. We didn't have cable. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that they didn't have the same type of bills for. And, like, I don't even know. But I love paying the bills online. I'm just going to say that right now. Get up on the kitties. And we mowed the backyard. Getting ready for Wyatt's birthday party in less than a week. And Lisa and Bill are coming to visit. She's like, I want to see. I want to see. Hi. Hi, everybody. Want to go outside with Sissy? So our task for today, you're fine, Ava, is to clean out Wyatt's sandbox. Because as you can see, there's a random flip-flop, toys, bugs, trees growing, plants, and then we're going to put the new sand in. And all my plants, my plants, look they're all blooming though. Purple, we got orange and a red, and then my lilies are blooming, and then my raspberry bush has gone crazy. Look, raspberries raspberries it's too big for like us to put on the fence so I don't know what we're gonna do because obviously the birds are gonna eat those raspberries and then poop all over our patio red I got lots of tomatoes growing lots of zucchinis and cucumbers and then we have some random little like tomato plants to grow in from some seeds that fell and then my big birth of peppers coming back so we'll see how that works. So I made me and the kids lunch. We have, um, well for white he's gonna get a half, but we have peanut butter and jelly sandwich, pretzels, hummus, and animal crackers. Yes, my kids love hummus. We're gonna go outside and eat on the patio. And then I have to clean up in here. What, you guys don't have a huge thing of animal crackers in your house? That's not a normal thing for everybody to have. 
No, that was a splurge. We were at Sam's Club the other day. We finally got Sam's membership for ourselves. We were using my mom's because I never went without my mom anyways. Um, so I feel like such a big girl now that I have my own. My picture is terrible, but you can hardly tell. Like, you could probably pull off being me if you just, like, had dark hair. Anyways, we went to Sam's Club and I was like, oh, animal crackers! And of course, the Sam's Club, like, they don't have small portions of anything, so I had the craving for them, so then I just had to buy the huge thing. So now we're having animal crackers for lunch every day until this thing is gone. Do you like eating outside, Wyatt? Uh-huh. Ava, do you like eating outside? Yeah. I like eating outside. And I yes, don't you. like bumblebees. Yes, you. No, we don't like bumblebees, do we? I don't like worms, too. Wyatt. No. Buddy, it's nap time. No. Listen, we're going to get ready for your nap, and then after your nap, we're going to swim. Do you want to swim? <coughs> Are we gonna swim? Where are you going? Found you. So the dilemma is, is that this pool needs to be blown up and we have this thing from our queen size air mattress, but we lost the little funnel piece. So I have to find a way to jerry rig a little funnel to get into that spout, which I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe there's something in our garage. It stinks in our garage. I hate the smell of garages. This is our wall of bikes. Okay, so John said that there was like a funnel piece or something maybe on the bike pump. I don't really know what he's talking about. It says in the tube. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't see any funnel. Unless John's got one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. Watch. I'm going to end up like blowing it up by myself like <sighs> or something. I can't believe we lost the funnel. It doesn't sound like me. I usually keep stuff like forever if anything. Alright. Let's try to open this up. I would love to meet the person who writes these directions out. Like, I feel like that could be a fun job. You could just write whatever. Look at this. Number one, adults shall drain and store the pool. Check with regulations and specific directions regarding disposal of swimming pool. Yes, I, the adult, shall drain the pool. Oh, I think the hole's gonna work. I think that's the same size as... I think that's the same size, right? Almost? We'll see. It's working! Look! Yay! I did it! Now all we need to do is fill it up with water um, and move it to a different place and the sun. So Ava, you're going to help me move it? Because we have to get this filled and kind of the water warmed up because I promised Wyatt that when he woke up from his nap he could swim. So the only reason why both little ones are sleeping right now. So we're gonna move it over here, I think, into the sun. And so now we just have to wait for it all to fill up. So now I'm gonna tackle this baby. We got a lot out so far. I have that, and Ava's got that pile over there. All I can say is John better make a cover for this thing this year, or I'm not doing sandboxes next year. <laughs> because this is ridiculous. Does anybody else watch Gold Rush? John and I have started watching Gold Rush on Amazon, or not Amazon, but on Netflix. Probably be a really good gold panner after this. <laughs> Either I'm gonna have some massive muscles, and only in my right arm, of course, because I'm not using my left to do this. Alrighty, look at that. Doesn't it look nice? Ooh, it's like we're actually at the beach. Now all I need is little friend's wife age to actually go over and play to use it. Poor kid. When Ava's gone at her dad's for the week, he gets really lonely. All right. Oh. My manicure is like totally messed up, so I'm gonna have to redo that again. And my hair, don't even get me started on my hair. Hi. Okay, Kaya, I got her in her bathing suit and in her swim diaper, and it was seriously like stuffing sausages. <laughs> She's so chubby. We've had 15 minutes um, after we put our sun lotion on, or sunscreen. And there's Ava. Wait, wait, no getting in yet. Now we're gonna go swim. I wonder if she'll like it. Get Kaya in. Oh, it's cold, guys. No, it's not. Sit down, Wyatt. You guys sit down. 
both of you sit down on the ground. Butt on the ground. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> See what Kaya thinks. <gasps> Little pizza's in. Oh. oh, it's cold on my tummy. Tummy, tummy, tummy. Oh, hey, 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 no kicking. No kicking. All right, hold on. This is not camera time. We don't have we don't have the GoPro. We need to put the camera away. I got it. Kai is so or why it's so cold right now. He's like his lips are chattering. I keep telling him to go inside. He's like, I'm not cold, I promise. Wyatt, did you notice that mommy did something for you? Uh -huh. What did mommy do? Uh, um, clean out the sandbox. I did clean out the sandbox and grandma got new sand for you. Oh. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah. Yeah? Next time I won't make a mess. Next time I won't make a mess. Whose Gatorade is that? Mine. Yeah, what do you think of the pool? Um, good. Good, you like it? Is it fun? Are those goggles cutting off the circulation to your face? Um, yeah. <laughs> So this is why John is a bad influence on his son. Notice the bush over here. <laughs> John's teaching Ava how to play golf, I think. Sounds like Carrie. Uh, the lyrics are Carrie. It's all 80s weekend. Hi Wyatt. A really pretty honey, hazily green. So we're going to Barnes and Noble to get another one of my mugs, I think. And then John wanted to look at the Blu-rays because they're all buy two get one free. So we're sitting in Barnes and Noble, and I didn't wear a nursing bra or tank top, and I forgot my nursing top, so or cover. So I'm like bearing it all here. Hey, tell me, show him. This is why it's favorite part of Barnes and Noble. This is the only reason why we come here. It's the Disney side. Oh, somebody was rude and left stuff there. I have a ready to know, sorry, but we're having this conversation about the tooth fairy because Ava lost her tooth today. So she lost her tooth, and so now we're trying to figure out because she has been sleeping on the futon in Wyatt's room. They've been sharing a room, or uh, his room. 
so that Kaya can sleep uh, through the night because Ava's been coffeed. Everyone's been coffeed, but Ava's been coffeed. It's been waking up Kaya, and she's not been going back to sleep. So for the whole house to be able to sleep, Ava and Wyatt have been sleeping together, which has been working out wonderfully. They both sleep. Kaya has slept almost through the night, three, four nights in a row now. It's amazing. So we're trying to figure out if the Tooth Fairy will come if she's in a different room. I think that Ava needs to leave the tooth underneath her bed or pillow in her old bedroom, in her bedroom that she has with her sister, because the Tooth Fairy won't know where to go if she, you know, puts it under the pillow in Wyatt's room, where she's sleeping right now. John's theory is to put it out in the hallway underneath the pillow so the Tooth Fairy will come across it all the way. Who knows? We went to Red Robin. It was an okay experience. I was really upset because my avocado salad came out wrong and John had to make me seem like a B-I-T-C-H by getting it corrected. I felt terrible, but at the same time, we're spending our hard-earned good money on food when we eat out. Some reason, every single time we go somewhere, like no joke, every single time John and I, there's, there's a fly in my house. Every single time we go somewhere, it doesn't matter who it's with or where we go, somebody's food comes out wrong. It doesn't matter. It's like we're bad luck or something, but somebody's food always comes out, out wrong. And it's not like we're the pickiest people. It's not like we're like, oh, we want the butter on the side and our forks pointing due west and the pepper sprinkled on a 20 degree angle on this chicken breast. Like, we're not like picky. We just ask for simple things. Like, I asked for no chicken and then extra egg and bacon instead. And then we went through this process of her saying, well, it's going to cost extra. And I said, okay, that's fine. And then, like, literally we talked about it for five minutes and I watched her write it out. And it came out exactly the way that it was, like, with chicken on it and none of my extras. So, and then no fries. She forgot my fries. So it was just frustrating because it's like, you spend really good money. I've waitressed, like I said, for years. So I know that it's possible to give people what they ask for. So, I don't know. I felt terrible. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know, I feel like I deserve to have what I ordered. And I did say it in a mean way, John actually is the one who corrected her. She's so happy right now. <laughs> he dancing, 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 dancing. <laughs> She's got so much snot coming out of her nose right now. So this is what we got from Barnes & Noble. Uh, we went for a walk around, then we went to the store. But we got um, this little Storm Trooper plushie for $4.02. All the plushies are $4. They're on clearance. That's why we got them. An R2-D2. A Yoda. And then we got Darth Vader. So we have four of them, but then these will go in... Wyatt's room at some point like on a shelf as like his decoration but because he's got R2-D2 piggy bank and yeah so anyways um, and then I got this coffee mug another one um, I showed you guys pictures of it the last one I got and then like I said I was going to go back and get another one and I did because they were still there there's only two left so I bought this one I should have just bought both of them but whatever um, I got this for $4.96 um, I love it. Like, I love this mug. It's not just because it's Beatles and because it's got, like, here, I'll show you. For those of you who haven't seen, didn't see my other one. It's not just because it's Beatles and it's Yellow Submarine, but then it has the quote, Love is All You Need on the inside, and that's one of my favorite songs, is All You Need is Love, and I think it's just, like, I love it. And it's a good size, and it feels really sturdy in my hand. And it's really important with a coffee cup, or a tea cup, because I, I drink tea, like, crazy during the winter, so, um, I got that, another one of those. And then we went, actually, to, we went to Barnes & Noble, because I wanted to get another of those mugs, and then I, we, um, I got an email that said that all the Blu-rays were buy to get one free. And we recently had a PS3 for John for Father's Day, so we didn't own any Blu-ray DVDs. I think we owned one Iron Man, um, and so he wanted to get some. So he got The Matrix, The Avengers, actually we both are huge fans of that. And then for the kids we got Ice Age, because they are buy, buy two get one free. So we got all three of these for um, like $60, which is a pretty good deal. I can't believe how expensive Blu-rays are. Like we wanted to get one of these Pixar, like the Nemo one or Monsters, or we wanted to get a Pixar Disney movie on Blu-ray, but they're $50 and it was just like, that just seems like a lot of money to buy a Blu-ray, like I or a movie, like it just, it was really hard. So 
I don't know. Maybe some other time when we're rich and, you know, don't have any care in the world we can spend that kind of money on one movie. But hope you guys enjoyed following us around. We're going to go put the kids to bed and figure out what to do with Ava's tooth. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.